flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dolly, can you take roll, please? Supervisor Flaherty. Here. Councilwoman Cataldi. Present. Councilman Abbott. Here. Councilman Dean. Here. Councilman Cahill. Here. Town Attorney Genesee. Present. What? Did Lieutenant Welt, did he just leave? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go to work. Well, you you asked him was the bums rush? Uh, well, uh, this is, uh, well, for everybody, uh, uh, Lieutenant, uh, well, we, I just wanted to announce that I think it was as of Friday the 28th or Saturday the 29th that Sean Welch was promoted to lieutenant um, in the police department here in Webster. And uh, actually his swearing-in ceremony is going to be Friday afternoon tomorrow at 4 p.m., uh, weather permitting outside at the uh, um, Miracle Field Pavilion. Um, I wish Sean was here to... But apparently he had to head out. So that is my uh, recognition of Lieutenant Welch. Um, next up, are there anybody in attendance who would like to get up and take the microphone for any reasons? Okay. Well, tonight we have an interesting one in that we have four public hearings, but as uh, we mentioned two weeks ago, these really all spawn off the same concept that we're moving from a process of sending out letters uh, within 100 or 300 feet, uh, depending on the project that the zoning board or the planning board to, to people and that live within 100 or 300 feet of the a proposed project, uh, whether it's a variance at a place or whether it's a, uh, is that essentially what we're talking about, uh, Josh? And um, so we're really migrating from those letters to posted signs, um, which I got to tell you this, um, I got a couple of calls and emails in the last week from some people who, you know, as the board members know, we, we, we have some citizens who, and God bless them, they, they call us and email us on everything under the sun and usually are kind of giving us the other side of the story of why we shouldn't do something. These same people all called with a thumbs up on this move. They thought it's something that we should have done years ago, so I, that was kind of nice. Um, but, you know, I think it's a sign of the times. I mean, there was some, uh, uh, some of those comments were that they heard years ago that we couldn't put the signs in because we feared they would blow over or whatever. But, Josh, you've gotten some heavy-duty, uh, like, realtor-based signs. And once they're, they're in there, it's going to take a hurricane to knock them out. So, um, anyway, Charlie, I'm going to just rattle through these opening up. See if anybody has any questions, uh, any probably, comments. Yeah, I think we have to do one each. At a time. Close yeah, one. Yes. Yeah, right. Open, Open and close. And then if they do go the way I assume, would never assume that there is no uh, buddy that wants to comment on this, for or negative, when we get through them, um, I, do you see any reason why we would not just do the resolutions on all th four of these? I think to be on the safe side, one at a time. One at a time. I know it would be. Would have been public hearing, resolution, right. public yeah. hearing. Yes. Fine. Form over function, I will go with you. I guess that's both, uh, form and function. Okay. Um, well, then let's uh, open the public hearing on, to enact a local law amending the notice provisions for public hearings under Chapter 95 of the Webster Town Code. And since I don't think anybody has any comments or questions on this, I'm going to close that public hearing. And this one, I want to make sure I'm reading off the right resolution. Um, oh yeah, I hope they're right. I think it is right in order. Um, so this resolution of the Webster Town Board enacting a local law amending the notice of provisions for public hearings under Chapter 95 
of the Webster Na Town Code at a regular meeting of the Town Board on June 3rd, 2021. The following resolution was offered. Uh, the Town Board has the authority pursuant to Article 2 of the New York State Municipal Home Rule Law to adopt and amend local laws. Uh, whereas the Town Board has authority pursuant to Article 4 of the New York State Town Law to promote the health, safety, morals of the community. Uh, whereas the Town Board has the authority pursuant to Article 16 of the New York State Town Law to regulate and restrict the use of the development of land by means of its zoning laws. Whereas it is the interest of the Town and its citizens that the notice of public hearings of applications for spe special permits be made to more effectively notify the citizens. Whereas it is both the public interest and required by law that a public hearings be held to consider the proposed amendment uh, to the Webster Town Code changing. Uh, whereas the public hearing on the proposed new local law was held by the Webster Town Board on June 3rd, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. Whereas a short form environmental assessment form was proposed for the pros action has been prepared and has been submitted to the town board and reviewed by the town board and whereas it is in the public interest to enact the uh, board said local law now therefore it be resolved that by this town board um, that local law to be designated as local law number two of 2021 being enacted by the town board of the town of Webster this article is entitled, A Local Law to Amend the Notice Provisions for Public Hearings and Applications for Special Permits, required in Chapter 95 of the Webster Town Code. Um, so 95-23 Public Hearings, no action shall be taken by the Town Board to issue a special use permit by the Planning Board to issue preliminary site plan approval, nor the Zoning Board of Appeals to grant use and area variances until public notice and hearing. Proper notice of public hearing before any board shall be given by legal notice published in the official newspaper of the Town of Webster at least five days before the date set for a public hearing as required by 274-B of the Town Law. Those submitting applications before the Planning Board and Zoning Board of Appeals and all special permit and rezoning applications before the Town Board shall be required to post a town-provided sign in a publicly conspicuous location on or in front of the property line of the property affected. Said sign shall not, said, said, uh, said sign shall notify the public of a pending application and hearing and shall be posted not less than 10 days prior to and up to the date of the hearing. Such sign shall be provided by the town and or its designee and shall be removable by the town and or designee within five days after the hearing is concluded. This local law shall take effect immediately under the appropriate filing required by law. The town clerk is hereby authorized to direct and take such action as may be necessary to carry this resolution into effect. That is my proposed resolution. Second. Supervisor Flaherty. Aye. Councilman Taldi. Aye. Councilman Abbott. Aye. Councilman Dean. Aye. Councilman Cahill. Aye. Okay. The second. Public Mr. hearing. Mr. Supervisor, yes, before sir. you go in, I don't think you have to read everything leading up to the law itself. No. Thank you. Since it's all identical. Yes, it is. Um, okay, I will open this public hearing to enact local law amending the notice provisions for public hearings under Chapter 192 of the Webster Town Code. And I'm going to close that hearing. Okay, so this resolution of the Webster Town Board enacting a local law amending the Notice of Provisions for Public Hearings under Chapter 192 of the Webster Town Code. Okay, this resolution, now there, therefore be it resolved, the Town Board determines that based upon the information um, and other available information that such local law to be designated as Local Law Number 3 of 2021 uh, be enacted by the Town Board of Webster, New York. This is 192-17 Planning Board Action and Preliminary Subdivision Plat. The Town Planning Board shall conduct a public hearing on the proposed preliminary subdivision plat. Such a public hearing shall be conducted within 62 days of the date of receipt of the application for preliminary subdivision plat approval and shall be advertised in a newspaper of general circulation in the town at least five days prior to the public hearing. 
Proper notice of a public hearing before any board shall be given by legal notice published in the official newspaper of the Town of Webster at least five days before the date set for a public hearing as required by 276 of Town Law. Those submitting applications before the Planning Board and Zoning Board of Appeals and all special permit and rezoning applications before the Town Board shall be required to post a town-provided sign in a publicly conspicuous location on or in front of the property line of the property affected. Said sign shall notify the public of a pending application and hearing and shall be posted not less than 10 days prior to and up to the date of the hearing. Such, shine, <laughs> such sign shall be provided by the town and or its designee and shall be removable by the town and or designee within five days after the hearing is concluded. This local law shall take effect immediately upon the appropriate filing as required by law. The town clerk is hereby authorized and directed to take such action as may be required to carry this resolution into effect. That Second. is my rest. Thank you. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Gataldi? Aye. Okay. I'm going to open the public hearing for, to enact a local law amending the notice provisions for public hearings under Chapter 225 of Webster Town Code. And I'm going to close that public hearing. Now, does anybody on the board think they can say seashells by the seashore on the resolution better than me? Does anybody want to try this? You're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> fantastic. Jeez, please. Okay. Great. All right. Okay. Proposed resolution of the Webster Town Board enacting a local law amending the notice provisions for public hearings under Chapter 225 of the Webster Town Code. All right. Um, we enacted the Town of Board of Webster. This article is entitled, entitled A Local Law to Amend the Notice Provisions for Applications for Rezoning to the Town Board and Applications for Variances and Special Permits before Zoning Board of Appeals Pursuant to Chapter 225 of the Webster Town Code Zoning. Um, notice of Posting of Signs. I want to make sure I'm reading the... Okay, let's see. Amended. Hmm, Charlie, I want to make sure I do this correctly. Uh, application for rezoning. Town Board action. Following completion of a planning board review, the Town Board may take one of the following actions. I can, I can just shorten it up a little Please bit. do. Okay, well, basically, there's there in Section 225, or I'm sorry, Chapter 225, which is the uh, zoning law of the code, mm -hmm. there are three... Uh, areas where public notice is required. One is for rezoning, which is 225-5.1. Um, the other is matters before the Board of Appeals, which is 225-108. And the last is the special permit process for the Zoning Board of Appeals, which is 225-110. In mm -hmm. each of these, we are substituting the prior notice by uh, the same sign provisions that we've had for the for local laws number two and three. This is local law number four. It covers the three subdivisions or sections of uh, chapter 225 relating to zoning board of appeals and the town board uh, in rezoning matters. Okay. And that is the resolution being proposed. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Gataldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Well, Charlie, we're in a rhythm now. I might have you explain the next one unless it's uh, easier. The next one, but, uh, the next well, one deals with 228, which is planning. <laughs> yep. uh, it's yeah, the okay. planning chapter. Mm -hmm. This is local law number five. Uh, again, this is, this only really affects one. Sorry, well, Charlie, I'm going to open the public hearing oh, first, sorry. and then I'm going to let you rattle that out because okay. you, you, you got it. Uh, so I'm going to open the public hearing to enact a local law amending the notice provisions for public hearings under Chapter 228 of the Webster Town Code. And I am going to close that public hearing. And now Attorney Genesee is right. going to save Sorry us a lot of time. That, Mr. Supervisor and Town Board members. Uh, this is Chapter 228, which deals with planning. This deals particularly with the one section for, which is 228-7, planning board actions on preliminary site plans. Preliminary site plans are matters which require public hearing. The uh, notification will no longer be... Um, uh, merely a uh, 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 
publication in the, in the local paper and uh, relying on the applicant to send out notices to people within 300 feet, we will now be uh, posting signs as we will be for all the other applications. Uh, we've stated the, the wording of the law is pretty much identical that the uh, town provided sign will be in a publicly conspicuous location on or in front of the, the front property line of the property affected. Uh, the sign will notify the public of a pending application and hearing. It will be posted not less than 10 days prior to and up to the date of the hearing and it will be provided by the town and will be removable by the town within five days after the hearing. That is the resolution I'm proposing. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Okay, and uh, Dolly, thanks for getting out the uh, minutes from the last uh, board meeting on May 20th. Um, I've read them. I would uh, make a, a resolution that we approve them. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Council, Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cataldi? Aye. Well, I learned a couple weeks ago that uh, two weeks in a row, right, Bill? That's people come in to do the bills, the board members, two times in a row. <laughs> Who was it? I did. I it reviewed the bills Patty. yesterday. <laughs> um, and I found all to be in order and would move that we approve paying the bills. Second. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. And I reviewed the prepaid warrants as submitted by the Director of Finance and move that we approve those. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Um, you Mr. Schlegel? Are you you're not? Is he not here tonight? No, no. I told him he didn't. Okay. I'm glad you told him that. That's good. Um, okay. Um, I don't know how much uh, I really need to explain this. Um, We're setting a public hearing, right? Yep. Yeah, and I don't know how much the board just wants to hear. Okay. You really don't want to hear the, you want to hear about the labor, you just want to get to the baby. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> okay. All righty. Well, I am making a motion to set a public hearing on June 24th, 2021 to consider granting a special use permit to allow a permitted use greater than 5,000 square feet in an LC2 district to be advertised in the Webster Herald's Wednesday, June 8th, 9th edition. That is my motion. Second. Thank you. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Cataldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Believe it or not, I don't want to slow up this meeting. We're moving along very nice, but I do want to say that uh, that, that public hearing, uh, two things about it. One, that is, it's unusual that we would do that at a workshop. June 24th is a workshop. Um, but under the circumstances, uh, this applicant, I think, has been more than uh, patient, Josh. Uh, yep. And, um, yes, he has. you know, I think there's some things that we've identified in the last year about this special per use permit uh, process that uh, may be overly cumbersome. And we'll be looking to make some changes to the process as time goes on. But this is the law of the land right now. So we have to go through with this. And uh, we made an exception to do something uh, like this on a workshop night. So there's my uh, elaboration, I guess. Um, I bet you you're the gentleman here for the fill permit. Come on up. <laughs> John? Yes. I take it you are John Fowler. I'm John Fowler. 612 Lake Road. 
Fantastic. Um, and I'm applying for a fill permit. All right. Well, since I think the board members got some paperwork on this a couple days ago digitally, I don't know if any of them have any questions for you on this. I don't. I do not. <laughs> well, the engineering department has reviewed it. Yes. Approved of it. Yeah. And that's how I looked at it. I mean, the paperwork we got, it seemed like uh, this was a uh, pretty easy one for us to do the approval on. So unless anybody has any other questions or comments, and John, unless you have any other things you want to, I'm going to make a motion to approve this, and we'll get you on your way. Uh, I make a motion to approve a fill permit at 612 Lake Road for Mr. Fowler. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman D? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Thank you very much. Painless. Thank you. The, uh, how will I get, do I need to do anything now to actually get the permit in hand or go back uh, to the? Yes, so someone from the engineering department will reach out to you about the next steps um, within tomorrow, probably. They'll call me? Yes. Okay. And you'll receive a physical permit, and then you'll be able to commence work. Perfect. Okay. okay. Am I excused? <laughs> yes, you are. I mean, unless you want to hang around, you. <laughs> yes, you are. And, uh, geez, I wonder if uh, I wonder if John will be the the he'll be, go down in history as maybe the potentially the last uh, person who has to come into the town board to get a fill permit, because I know we are talking about maybe a. a changing that to be more done in the, the DPW or community development or engineering. Yeah. Um, we're doing some research. I, I don't, you guys, you're too young to know how this came about years ago that the town board approves fill permits. Because it's been around for 50, 60 years, for, for, as far as we can tell. You're not going to comment, are you? <laughs> okay. He wants to go home. Okay. Well, um, we have one last thing on the formal schedule tonight. And boy, I'll tell you, what looks to be a pretty simple resolution, Dolly, does it seem like we <laughs> went all over the place sure to did. come around? Ladies and gentlemen, this resolution um, is so foundational to what we hope to be doing on Sandbar Park in the spring of 2000. 22 um, because uh, essentially um, that's parkland down there and the movement of Lake Road over from the bay closer to the lake we are alienating some parkland we're actually picking up a little bit from right. the county in that swap but uh, what is uh, essentially a, a simple process, boy, Charlie, it is the farthest thing from a simple process to get it done legislatively. As I said to you before, welcome to government. I, I got to tell you something. This, this literally is an act of Congress. This is, um, if this is what we had to do on everything we do in government, I'm out. <laughs> this is quite the uh, process. But we're at the end, so let's go. Here's my motion uh, for this resolution at a regular board meeting of the Webster Town Board on Thursday, June 3rd. All board members pr present. Uh, motion is to accept New York State Senate Bill number S.5127 A of 2021 and New York State Assembly Bill number A.6213 A of 2021 as amended, each of the identical language and each authorizing the town of Webster to alienate certain lands currently used as parkland and to accept and dedicate certain other lands as parkland which are being received in exchange. Meets and bound descriptions of the lands, the ones being alienated by the town and those being conveyed to the town are within each of the bills and are in connection with fulfilling and assisting the completion of ready project number 56, the Lake Road Realignment Project. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? 
Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Well, that concludes our formal meeting tonight. As usual, we will, as we go around the room, I guess we'll leave the phones open for five minutes if anybody wants to call in. Um, but other than that, uh, Josh, any news? Uh, no, I just want to thank the board for approving what they did tonight with the signs. I know we're anxious to implement that, so we're thankful, and uh, we'll be placing the order for them tomorrow. Great. Great. What's the turn time? <laughs> Two to four weeks, I believe. Great. John? I'm all set. Thank you, John. Patty? Um, I just want to thank our staff, especially down at the Recreation Center, for, for hosting the informational event last night on Sandbar Park. They did a great job. And remind people that there are three more opportunities to take a look at this. Um, I heard a couple of comments today where people were uncomfortable coming to a meeting, and I don't think they really realized the uh, setup of that, where it's just big informational poster boards with a digital representation of what is being done and the ability to just talk one on one with those who are most involved in the project and have their questions answered. So I would encourage people to come out. Um, everyone got a mailing, most everyone. We heard that some didn't, which is unfortunate. Never really know what happens to those. You got today. Uh, a couple of people told me they got theirs today. Yeah. So, um, you know, information is on our website, it's on all social media. But certainly they can reach town hall to get more information if they need to. We just want to hear from everybody. And, and Patty, to your point, I'm not that cultured of a guy, so I don't go to a lot of art galleries. But I think it's kind of set up like you're going to an art gallery. And you go from station to station. It's very spread out. It's, you know, um, I, I like the setup. Oh, I thought it was great. You know? um, it was nice to have people there answering the questions. We had an FAQ sheet for people to take home yeah. which I think was helpful so I just hope more people will come I agree Charlie no it's been busy um, I want to give a shout out to the assessing department because they've done a great job in setting up the board yeah. assessment review grievances we always have quite a few here in Webster um, we have 113 this year which actually is a slow year um, but uh, they do a great job uh, from, from the assessor on down, and she's the one, of course, who, who leads it and heads the department, but she also organizes all the, the hearings and the information, and it's a, it's a very comprehensive process. So uh, uh, Webster is well served, and, and, a pro and something that a lot of people maybe don't like or don't understand, but it's well served, and uh, they do a very good job. So. Okay. okay. Barry? No, Patty pretty much said it. Uh, it was a nice, uh, it was very well laid out. Uh, like you said, it did look, does appear somewhat like a art gallery. It's an open house. It's very casual. I would, uh, like Patty, in, invite everyone to come to see it firsthand and to get firsthand knowledge of all of the things that are going on in its design. And yeah. yeah. Bill? Charlie stole my thunder. <laughs> I want to reiterate as well that the assessing department is ready for the show with the 113 some residents in the town and they've done a good job getting everything ready. I'm just proud of the work they do. You know what's funny Bill is I, I, the way houses are selling right now at the prices, I, how do you grieve your assessment? <laughs> There's always a few. I guess. Tally? Nothing to share. It's not tax time yet, is it? Right? Yeah. Yeah. We should well, probably remind people of the summer celebration coming up next weekend. That's a very good point. Maybe you want to elaborate on that? I, well, Patty, why don't you elaborate on it? Because you'll do it more succinct than me. Because I'm not sure of the details. Yeah. <laughs> the summer celebration to kick off the summer is happening next Saturday, um, June 12th, at Parks and Recreation Center. Yep. Brass Taxi will be playing. I believe it begins, is it 4 o'clock? I think that's correct. Uh, do you have it there? Um, I was at a meeting today over there where, I mean, uh, all the department heads, you know, they, they've got it 
really... There's going to be a food truck rodeo also. Yes. And there will be fireworks. There will be an yeah. opportunity to watch those fireworks actually from one of the parking lots so you can have a little drive-in experience to see them. Yeah. Um, still trying to mitigate crowds and, and having too many people in one space. Chris Bilo really pays attention to detail because just some of the things they explained today on how they are doing things to have the crowd be able to leave from different you know, exits mm -hmm. and accesses and whatever so they're not on top of each other it was impressive. Um, well, nobody wanted to call us. Uh, unless anybody has anything else to say, I would say tonight's meeting is adjourned. Good.